Okay, so this thing is pretty awesome, really. It's a 1955 Bel Air. It's got a Dart Little M V8 with the uh, Dart heads on it and a trim at five speed manual transmission. This has also got power steer, power brakes, and you can see there's a lot of pitting on this one. Wherever it came from, they had some salt in the air, but you can see a lot of the chrome and polished things that have pitting on them. This motor alone, I think it was like over 10 grand. Just, just the lower end of it. It's got all kinds of upgrades on the front, even though they are pitted. Electric fans. Aftermarket set of American Racing Wheels disc brakes. Two-tone inside and out to match. Okay, so what we're going to do is take off down the road, pick out flaws so you know what you're getting. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping is available on all of them, and we get new rides every Monday. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Now before I take off, we'll look around the interior. They upgraded the steering wheel. Nice seats. Headliner, a little faded. We're going to go over a lot of this in detail at the end. Let's go ahead and start it up. Place bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works? The clutch feels good. We're going to have to let this one warm up. She's a cold natured beast. Two four barrels on top. Let's see if I get the radio cut off. Oh, I hear it. But it's static. It's pretty quiet too. I think our knob here, volume adjustment knob, not quite working, but the radio was cutting on. Needs a glove box. Blower motor. Let's try this. There we go. That one works, but these controls don't work. It's getting cooler too. It's probably 60 degrees out here, and it's blowing a good 50 degree air out of that. Tilt column, turn signals, little, little marker there showing, little marker here showing. Got 36% fuel, 34 is 36. Wipers work. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? We've got upgraded pedals, and I'm just holding the pedal right now just to let the engine temperature warm up. Looks like we've got her up to 120 so far. Good oil pressure. About 130 comes around. We should be ready to take off. Horn though, did you place your bets? It works. Not working perfect though. You heard it for a second. Yeah, worked again. A little bit of a connection issue there. Well, we're almost to 130. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood and uh, you can actually hear it clearing up a little bit. There we go. 45 now. Dang. They got the idle down real low on this one. Alright, let's get the hood down and take off. in this one the clutch feels good I feel like this is gonna be a strong running car so we got a uh, trimming five speed so reverse should be over and back and it is it works good okay, just checking everything out there this is the first time I've driven it I want to make sure you know we're braking turning and we're stopping okay just breaking and stopping the same thing right here we go 
ultra smooth right now. I can just tell right out of the gate. She's straight as an arrow going down the road, tight steering. Speedometer's working. That digital dash there is high dollar. So many different things that somebody invested in this car that's worth so much money. Let's go ahead and go to the fifth. It's our cruising gear. And we're running 50, 51. That guy's going about 65 down Gallatin Road. <laughs> That's a good cruiser.
on the window. We're going to roll out of this. Go ahead and head back to the lot. bit of a stiff gas pedal that I'm trying to get used to feather in. See that front end just pulling up every time I get in the gas. coming from the trunk back there. She's running smooth now. Again, on this one, you got to let it warm up. Um, it does have two, four barrels on there that are chugging along. And this whole entire motor needs to be warmed up before you take off down the road. It does idle a lot better that way. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's powerful, guys. We're getting ready to pull back in the lot. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. I got some more to do today before I leave work. Thanks again. All right, guys. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. I'm going to be looking around for chip scratches, rust, and dents. Uh, and also, if you want to pick up some merchandise, some Maple Motors t-shirts, you can find those below in the description or at maplemotors.com. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're going to walk around this ride and look for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Mainly on this one, it's a beautiful ride, but it's got a lot of pitting on a lot of the different chrome accessories. As you can see under the hood, we got pitting, pitting. This must have been in a salty environment. I think it said that uh, it came out of South Carolina. So, it may just be why everything's pitting up. All right, we'll go ahead and start in the front here. Yeah, you got pitting on your chrome up here. Little bubbles behind the bumper. Mm. Headlight looks good. A little bit of pitting on the side here. Definitely the trim on the grill. around that headlight. Keep it down the side. Tires are in great shape, still got nipples on the edges. It's got some wax in the jam there.
midsection here. Little imperfections on the paint. The Bel Air emblem's got some pitting on it too. Also right there. A little extra wax on the edge here. Door handle there looks pretty good. Was that wax? Yeah. Kind of scraping it off, a little wax. A little bit of pitting popping up on the corner too. Got a crack back here. Your back window looks pretty good. Your package tray's clean. Your chrome around your window is in decent shape, other than that edge right there. A little bit of pitting up top there on your vent window too. Imperfections here, a little crack in the paint. Front windshield looks nice and clean. Roof looks wonderful. Very clean, nice and shiny. Feels like it's got a good amount of wax on it too. Okay. So I'm not seeing a lot of rust. Let's check out the back here. Back bumper on this one looks good, along with the front bumper. Your jams. Look okay, they look good under this mat. Looks like there's a little bit of moisture under here. Which is surprising because this one's been in the garage here for a few days. Over on this side. What is that metal for? <laughs> I don't know, but it's there and it's attached. You got the battery in the back. This looks like a little bit small of a battery for this car. You can see the tray's a lot bigger too. 525, if 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 it was me, and I might just go grab one, I'd put a thousand cranking amp battery back here. Um, let me get my light out so we can see that package tray really well. I'm not used to being in the garage. Working on this stuff. Definitely a little bit lighter outside. I don't know what that is, some foam? glue they must have had something glued up on the top here I'll tell you what it looks pretty good some fabric on the back of that some carpet a little bit of surface truss on the edge but solid underneath it's just where the paint's chipped so that's okay Coming on down with the trunk lid. Pitting on your rear emblem. Uh, you got some bubbles in the paint here. 
right there in the corner. A couple little spots there. She's shut. Stain there, it should come out. Touch up marks. Is that touch up marks? No, it's wax. Somebody waxed this car and didn't get all the wax off. You can see it up here too. It's kind of all over the paint job. <laughs> At least it's wax and it's coming right off. Down this side of the car. Are going to be able to open this? Yeah. I got a cap, a brand new cap for this one. I'm not sure what happened to the old cap. Little spot there in the corner. A little wax. Slight little bubbles right there. Pitting. Fitting on your door handle. Fitting on your mirror. Trim here. Vent window. A little bit around the front trim. A lot of these little stains will clean up with steel wool. Cracks right here. Blow the drip rail. Bubbles here in the corner. Over the top. Looking good. Okay, so this one did have some pitting, uh, mostly on the chrome. The paint job looked decent. We did have some imperfections. Of course, this is not a sixty, seventy thousand dollar car either. That's why it's priced this way. Let's go ahead and check out our interior. I haven't started this one at all today. We're going to start it up. It's going to be a cold start here. Door handles okay. Looking at our jams. Might have to pull the old L phone light out here so we can see up under. It's good. Yeah, fuse box. Carpet needs to be changed out. A little dirty, ain't it? Might be able to clean it up, but I don't know. This edge over here is a little dirty. I like the lighting from this video. I feel like it's a better, better video um, than doing it out in the wild. I gotta stay out there. I don't know if I can pull all of them in the showroom here. Just so happens this one's been in the showroom, so. I started it here and they was working on the car in front of it so I couldn't pull it out 
So I went ahead and just did it here. It's got some stains there in the middle. Might clean up. Seat itself. Looks decent. Let me move this or somebody says I'm hiding something. You know I don't hide anything. And like I say, I'm not here to sell you the car. I'm trying to show you what's wrong. I can't tell. <laughs> I do like the dash on this one. What a billet. Looks good. High dollar gauges. Got some overspray on the dash here. It needs to be cleaned up. Same with the steering wheel. I think it can be polished up. Five speed. AC. Nice pedals. Alright, I'm going to cut my camera off and we'll get her started here. This is a cold start. Make sure there's no switches before I keep pumping. I don't see any. There. I gotta let her warm up a second. Check out the clock. The clock's even working. Not the right time, but up there's working too hey the rpm gauge <laughs> somebody got really mad at me calling it an rpm gauge that's what it says I'm just reading it <laughs> this in the glove box Get her warmed up enough to idle. She's got a really low idle. You look at that, 550. Okay. She is uh, very low. Upgraded. Pulley's all in the front. Somebody spent some money there. I'm going to open this door over here, get a little bit of uh, oxygen flowing through. Alright guys, they want me to cut it off, so we're going to cut it off. Even with the fans on and the doors open, it's still smoking us out in here. Of course, you got the electric fans. They are on and working. It don't even need to be on right now. Let's see if... Uh... Yeah, you just put it in the off position and they cut on with the keys, so... But yeah, I just wanted to show you. It does start up and that's the cold start for you. We're going to try to get it out of the garage whenever I can. Um, and I did this at the beginning of the video, which is kind of different than what I normally do. But it is here in the showroom. A little misty outside, so. 
figured we'd go ahead and do her in here. A little pitting, all your chrome around the front of the hood right here is pitted up pretty good. Even your emblem. There's a lot of wax in there. All that white is just where somebody's waxed the car and it got stuck in all of that. Come down. Put it in here. Okay guys, well, one of the longer walk arounds, about 20 minutes. <laughs> Detailed pictures, finance and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Pick up a car from us. We pick, I don't know, about 10 cars a week. Put them on the website on Mondays and then show y'all everything through a walk around. You can also find it at maplemotors.com, which is updated around 12 o'clock on Mondays. Be sure to hit subscribe and share. That's going to help me out quite a bit. And I'll see y'all in the next video, guys. Later.